Yeah. What's good, everybody? How's everyone? Welcome back to another Outer Worlds walkthrough. <sighs> Last time we left off, man. About to make this decision for the. Hey, take your time. For the factory, and who I'm probably gonna reroute the power to. I think that. Look. I don't know, man. Let's get it though. About this uh side quest right here. I don't know why my mic sounds weird on the freaking Xbox compared to the PS4. Searching for repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Unable to comply. I could probably fix that. I mean, if you wanted me to. That's not bad work, mister. You done this before? Navigation systems operational. Optimal path toward repair bay detected. Initiating self-diagnostic, Spacer's Choice reminds all colonists that serving the Spacer's Choice family is the highest possible reward. I have been programmed to deliver this pre-approved message. Fuck Spacer's Choice, bro. Bring us honor, soldier. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Pulled its optic cables out its headcase? Actually, don't tell me. Rather use my imagination. You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one. And the enemy is legion. What you need is an equalizer. A weapon to strike fear in their cold, mechanical heart. Cantina, lavatory, behind one of the toilets. That's where I've kept it hidden all these years. Sharp, ain't it? The lavatory is the very last place a mechanical has need to enter.
on the double soldier. Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop. Bring us honor, soldier. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice injury customizing unit. Designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. I call it the Hand of the Law. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand volts in its guts. With compliments from old Ludwig. There's a workbench right through this door. Attach that unit to your favorite weapon and go forth into glorious battle. Time's come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. You'll need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. There's the rub. If a mechanical breaks down, the logic module fries. So you can't rip one out of its corpse. You're gonna have to find an intact model somehow. I just fuck myself over by destroying the other module. Shit. I don't reckon so. I work with gears and pistons and such. Stuff you can put hands to. Computers and mechanical brains are outside my ken. You know, she names the mechanical she fixes. Calls them Bess and Clancy and so on. You keep a careful eye on her. Could be a sympathizer. Don't tell anyone, all right? I've got a contact. A real expert in the inner workings of the automaton. We are gonna rip those mechanical secrets right out of their circuits. Well, excuse me. What I meant was I'm going to get a contact. I didn't know I had to be all prissy about my grammar around you. 
If you die horribly, I will pour out a can of Zero G to your memory. I'll leave it to a mother. Quest after we do with this one. Oh, I forgot to install that one shit, huh? That workshop. Oh yeah, this is why. Cause it take the same ammo and shit.
Man, the controls are so conflicting, because on one part, I want to be bumper jumper, but then when I just bumper jumper, there's certain buttons, like, I, I just wish I could just customize controls, bro, like, why are we living in 2020, bro, and consoles still, like, you can't even, like, you can't even customize them, bro, like, how, like, why are consoles the only one, how come Fortnite is the only game that allows you to, bro? It makes no sense. The control room should be off to the right. I hope we're doing the right thing. Oh, you got that? Greetings. Security Chief Esther Tanaka, this is an automated message initiated by Spacer's Choice Workers Safety. Contingency protocols, a security lockdown has been initiated. This is not a test. Your behavior during this lockdown will be reviewed. During your quarterly audit, anxiety is a common side effect of life threatening situations. In Gendered by security lockdowns. I've never seen that word, I guess. Fight back against anxiety with an ice old bottle of zero G brew, zero G brew, and L that's good for your, what's what ails you. Jesus, that shit is so fake. I couldn't even say that. Um, 
Fiddling around with one of the mechanicals, so I had to write him up for tampering with company property. Just in case I'm reading this a couple days from now and feeling bad for what I've done, let me just remind myself that I've warned him before. He's always been a little cook, crook, crooked in the head skull. He was working on some logic module I consecrated. Should be in my lockway room for the foreseeable future. Sit right with me. Company's been replacing our guards with auto mechanicals. At this rate, I'm going to end up a chief of security with no staff, just a small army of mechanicals knocking about, guns pointing every which way. Company tells us they're safe, programmed to treat us humans like their own. People are liable to break down, but an auto, me auto mechanical never will. I don't know. Doesn't sit right with me, but the company's never been wrong before, I suppose. Did I read that right? People are liable to break down, but an auto mechanical never will. Who said that shit? Worst has happened. Mechanical's gone crazy. Locked myself down here. Just trying to gather my courage. Gonna make a mad dash for the control room. Might be able to shut things down. We'll delete this entry if I ever return. Never know which one's gonna be a freaking actual locker or just some random ass locker. Jesus, those motherfuckers are scary. It's weird, bro, like. Oh, you gotta get like a whole section, huh?
BRB. To sell some of my stuff, I'm probably. I should have probably got it in this. That was 50. That's 50 kilograms, man. It's a lot. Hey, I could put that on my sword. On my sword. Not real. You're not real. No, no, no. Just leave me alone. Get away. No. Where the hell is he at? You're not real. You're not real. Not real, you're not real. You're not real, you're not real.
Mind the steam. You're liable to get scalded. You're not real. 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 Most people? But I'm the only one left. No. Remember your first rule, Higgins. No arguing with the Phantoms. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. Clearly, I mistook you for one of the phantoms of my imagination, which terrorized me on occasion. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. <laughs> definitely not insane. <laughs> I use it as a reminder. Oh, hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. My recollection's a touch fuzzy these days. Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aether Wave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. Mechanicals lost their bolts. Open fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. So, as usual, I missed out. What the fuck? Jimmy'd open the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. Braised. Boiled. Charred. Skewered. Sprats are good eating, friend. Chock full of brain food. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries. Repaired them, maintained, upgraded. Did it all from my old workroom, just over in the next section. Jimmy'd opened the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. Well, yes, for the uninitiated palate, a true gourmand appreciates the Sprat's complex melange of flavors. Braised, boiled, charred, skewered. Sprats are good eating, friend. Chock full of... I specialized in auto mechanicals, Drones? Sentries? Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the Mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us. With prodding irons. You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, uh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. Funny thing. I was working on a logic module just before the mayhem started. Security chief found me and confiscated the logic module. The tail. Definitely start with the tail. If you're feeling adventurous, the ears are a particular delicacy. Jimmy'd opened the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Event so this motherfucker the one that started this whole shit?
Oh, here's the other fucking volume. There you go. Wow, look at that. Found it. Amazing. It all comes full circle. Don't need this hammer. Pocket check, boy. Probably the reason why all this motherfucking shit started, man. Oh, is it a workbench here? That's awesome. Amazing. Interesting and the fuck I just do processing performing. <laughs> 
Suspicious data acquired. Investigating. Here we go! That motherfucker dead kill him, bro. He knew what he was doing.
Yeah. See why it's so important to explore? You never know where you're gonna find loot at. Once we do this, there's no going back. Let's go back. Ah, jeez. Operating at 22% efficiency. Oh, uh, still one. Turned on two, but I knew those switches were apart. I was like, what the hell is this? Oh, my lord. I gotta take the stairs. Oh, wow. I passed my bike. I wanna talk to this motherfucker real quick, cause I know he was the one that created that logic thing. He, like went crazy, bro. Been down here way too long. What's eating you? The tail. Definitely start with the. Forgot. Ah, uh, motherfucker. You like to tell yeah yeah eat that tail boy eat the tail first and if you you feel it adventurous I want to eat the ears first this fucking guy hey mister look I know you want your power regulator and all but I just gotta ask you do you understand what you're about to do I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power I think it would be cruel I I'm sorry that just sort of came out all at once. Edwater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. 
There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow, she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? Well, that sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. Oh, man, this is going to be a hard decision. Warning, redirecting power is an irreversible procedure. Irreversible. Ah, uh, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm trying to read more books. the rightest thing you could send the power back to Edgewater. A lot of people would have suffered otherwise. People I care for. Even if they care much for me. I think we're gonna end the walkthrough right here. A good hour. We come back. We have to deal with the consequences of reverting the power. I might try to get some people to go back to Edgewater. See if I can like Learn something positive out of this, man, because I know the choices in this game aren't going to be easy, but I hope they stay true to that Fallout nature where even though you have to make a hard decision, something positive that comes out of it. So with that thought, I leave you guys. Hope y'all having a good one. Have a blessed week. Y'all stay safe out here. I love y'all. Truly. Peace.